Hey guys, how's it going today? This is your brother Cedric, aka Moet. Thanks for tuning in to Pittsburgh Christian Dating Number One Wingman. Hey guys, the topic of the video today is how to avoid the friend zone. How to avoid the friend zone with beautiful women. Hey, let me ask you a question. Have you ever had a woman say anything to you like this before? You're a nice guy, I like you, but just not in that way. Can we just be friends? I hate to say it guys, but if you heard these words before, the game is already over for you. If you don't know what it means when a woman say this, let me decipher the code for you. What a woman is trying to say is, I kind of like you, but I don't find you attractive. And when she say attractive, basically she means sexually attractive. So how on earth do you circumvent this type of headache? The answer is quite simple. But the guys that just get caught up in this infamous let's be friend zone just have no idea what to do. The mistake these guys make often happens as soon as they meet a woman in a very offset. Majority of Christian men make these common mistakes with women all the time, with women they like. I want to give you guys three uh, things on what to do so you can not end up in the friend zone. Number one. A mistake that Christian guys make. They communicate with women as if they are their friends or their brothers and sisters in Christ. But they totally do this unconscious. They're totally unconscious of it. They do this all these things uh, to make a good first impression like they give them all types of gifts. They do all types of favors for them. They're like their personal chauffeur, driving her around, back and forth, going shopping with her. Uh, not to mention, they listen to her with all of her problems like they're Dr. Phil. Listening to problems of her family, of her ex-boyfriend, like they're her personal therapist. Guys, this isn't what attract women. These type of things is what friend does, friend do. So you don't want to do those type of things. If you want to end up in a friend zone, that's what you do because friends do that, but not a guy who is trying to be attractive or who is trying to attract women. We don't do those type of things. A lot of Christian guys, they are too agreeable, extra friendly, extra nice, are under the impression that if they treat the woman like she's Queen Bathsheba, she'll eventually start to like them and be their girlfriend and one day she will fall in love with them. Wrong. This is what you don't want to do, guys. You don't want to do that. Um, mistake number two that Christian guys make. They neglect to build sexual tension. Guys that get jammed in the friend zone are just terrified to create sexual atmosphere. I think they think that if they start, um, start getting sexual or having a sexual atmosphere that they will get rejected or they think it's not Christian like. Guys, I'm not talking about having sex with a woman. I'm just simply saying that just have a sexual vibe about yourself whenever you're around her. This, this lets her know that you're not just only trying to be her friend. As a matter of fact, as soon as you come across a woman that you're interested in, you want to give off a sexual flirty type of vibe. And this is exactly why women like to date thugs a lot because it's, it, they are sexually attractive because uh, they have like a radiate immense, like uh, they have a lot of amount of sexual vibe that they kind of th uh, throw off to women. And you can do this, you can create this sexual vibe by gently touching her with your body language and eye contact and um, so on. I'll talk about more in other videos. So instead of being that nice Christian save guy uh, that you are, uh, showing tremendous amount of interest in a woman you're attracted to that you just met, instead of catering to every need and her desires, do this instead. Just play the type of guy that you're really not interested in and it, it, and it really don't matter if she like you or not. Just play that type of person. And I guarantee that if you do this, you'll end up in a better position and she will also give you a better response doing this than she would, you would, than she would if you uh, was like all over her being that extra nice guy, which basically repels women. Mistake number three that Christian guys make. Most Christian guys are too accessible when it comes to women. When a woman calls or texts a guy, most of the guys, they text right back like Johnny on the spot. And you don't want to do that guys. Just 
if, if, you, if, if she calls, you want to wait. You want to wait around. As a matter of fact, what I want you to do is that instead of waiting, instead of like texting her soon as she calls, it just appears as if you're waiting around for her to call you like you don't have a life. So don't do that. What you basically want to do the next time she calls you or texts you talking about her job is driving her crazy or or whining about her baby's daddy is not a good father and start crying about how crappy her job is. Just evade the whole conversation and turn the dialogue around and text her back and say something like, who do you think I am, Dr. Phil? I'm not your shrink, you know. And then say something like, uh, but I do know Oprah's phone number if you want to uh, vent to someone. And then you kind of turn that around a little bit and you kind of flirt with her and just saying something like, you know, what you need to do is go out and find a, a sexy, uh, handsome guy to have a, a, a kick butt time with and have ha, just have some fun and then say something like you're just in luck because you just uh, happen to be talking to that person. That's what you want to do. So in summary of the problem, guys, this is what you want to do. Mistake Christians uh, make in summary number one. They deal with women like they're their friends or sisters in Christ. Number two uh, mistake that guys make is they neglect to build sexual tension. And number three, most Christian guys are too accessible. And there are tons of other mistakes that make guys make trying to court beautiful women. And if you would like to know what these do's and don'ts are when you come as far as coming across, you know, uh, trying to attract and date women, uh, if you would like to know, just click the link below and get access by clicking the link below. Well, guys, that's it for today. Remember to leave below a comment of your most pressing problem with women and dating. And I will see you in the next video. This is your brother Cedric, a.k.a. Uh, Moet, saying God bless you and get out there and do this stuff.